The wedding season is well underway and I'm sure there are brides, grooms and guests who are looking for the perfect outfit for nuptials this summer. A fashion event held in Durban recently showcased styles in the contemporary and heritage idioms and we're about to give you a ramp side view. The first fashionistas had not yet arrived, but there was no time to relax behind the scenes as B Gangaram and Mode prepared to present their summer styles. This event is called Illusion. Illusion is something that perceives or meets the eye. Um, the reason why we chose this is because not everyone looks at a garment at the same way. It's perceived different for each individual. So it creates an illusion. So when you come to sit and watch the fashion show, you will view each garment in a different manner. The event had caught the attention of Durban's fashion fundies and a round of applause greeted the arrival of a green and gold sari with an almost minimalist approach to embellishment. This was followed by a burst of summer blooms in a piece of full-length fusion. Monochromes have a way of focusing attention on the silhouette while the juxtaposition of floral and geometric elements was unconventional, yet highly effective. In keeping with the bridal theme, gold was a recurring element, with the palette also offering something for preferences ranging from jewel tones to extrovert kitsch and demure pastels. This real-world approach to fashion has a particular client profile in mind, as Meetha Bhagwan explained. Our style is less is more. We cater for the trendy, chic individual. So more rustic, more fusion, more embroidery, more zari work, more uh, resham embroidery, lots of beadwork. It's all about making a statement, making heads turn, and that's what illusion is all about. A uh, woman's range is incomplete without a man's range, so we decided to join both brands together to have a complete show. Illusion is all about the evolution, basically, of fashion. People need to know that we are still involved in fashion, we still keep up with the trends of today, and what you're trying to do as well is bringing fashion of the old, older days into today. Traditionally, Eastern attire was more your longer shed wannies, which are uh, men's grooms' outfits. But now what's happened, Westerns have a big taste in it because of few suits that we do now, more fusion. So it's more embroidered on a very casual jacket matching the bride's outfit. So it has a major influence in today's Eastern attire. Whether the groom favours an understated look or something a little more flamboyant, the success of the style statement still depends on the quality of the fabric and the tailoring. While jewellery was used very selectively, the mong tikas worn on the forehead provided a striking touch. The showstopper was a celebration of tradition, bringing the show to an exquisitely elegant close. It's definitely a sense of achievement for both of us tonight. I think things went off pretty well. It was a great collaboration between two amazing concept stores. It's always nice to see Biangaram and Mod putting out new and interesting fashion. We've had a good crowd, uh, amazing experience. Uh, I think everyone had fun. It was awesome celebrating years of business. So it was great. I think we're blessed. <laughs>